In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can install this custom screen and how to make edits so that custom text uh, is displayed even before you edited it. For example, it's like a template within the custom screen that will help you to uh, record notes more efficiently when we get back to work. So that's how we're going to roll in this video. Hi everyone, it's Jazz Gulati here from the Protrusive Dental Podcast. Uh, some episodes ago, my Protrusive Dental Pearl was a custom screen that I shared with you all and it's been probably the most successful thing um, that I've given out in terms of a freebie or a pearl to, to help our fellow dentists. Uh, but the, the problem is that I've had so many uh, requests for more information. A lot of people don't know how to install these custom screens. They get this CSV file and they double click on it, all these numbers and stuff come up and they don't really know what to do because they've never done this before. So uh, this little short video will just talk you through how to download your custom screen file uh, then how to install it and then actually use it on Exact. And if you haven't got Exact, you've got R4, then I've made a little like a PDF version for those who wanted it. Really, I, th I think this works powerful as a um, Exact custom screen. Uh, but if you want to have some sort of performer to go by, then I made it available by PDF. So if you want to access all this, I want to go to protrusive.co.uk. When it pops up, it'll, uh, my newsletter uh, will pop up, and then here we are, subscribe for free resources, enter your name and your email, and the first email I'll send you will be a welcome email, and in that welcome email, I've uh, edited it now so that it'll have the links to the custom screen, the links to this video, uh, in case you want to reference it again, uh, and any other freebies that I've sent to the community on Protrusive Dental Podcast. So uh, make sure you subscribe, and I'll be able to send you the custom screen and any other future sort of resources as well. Okay, so uh, let's get to action. Um, let me show you how to go about installing this custom screen. Firstly, you need to download your custom screen. Uh, so you click on the link in the email, you download a .csv file, you're on the same computer where you can access Exact from, uh, and what you need to, need to do is save it on your desktop, something for easy reference. So as you can see, I've already installed my custom screen before. I'm gonna basically talk you through the steps and how to actually install your custom screen and make it come up like down there. So step one is I need you to go, or well, step one is I need to, I need you to make sure that on exact you have the right configurations and right access settings so whoever is the big boss the practice manager principal if they've got the power to give you the power then that's cool because what you should do is when you click configure like you can see up there something called custom screens should come up now if custom screens doesn't come up on your exact that means you don't have the power you don't have the privilege you haven't been given it yet so speak to the principal or use their exact account if they let you to be able to make this adjustment so we're going to go to custom screens once we're in custom screens you can see uh, all the custom screens that we have already over here or all the example sort of notes that we have set up what you're going to do is at the bottom over here on the bottom right you're going to click import once you've clicked import, I'm on the desktop and I've saved it as Protrusive Custom Screen 2020. We're gonna go ahead and open that. And we need to give this a code, so uh, a code where you can easily find it again and how it's gonna display in the future. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna call it um, Demo Custom Screen. Demo Custo, there we are, Demo Custo. Now, once I've uh, clicked on import, uh, that should be in there now. So let's see if we can find it. Here we are. At the top here, I've selected it, Demo Custo. Okay, so that is now there. So we're done with this bit. What we need to go back to now is a, a patient. So I'm gonna go back to a patient, and here's my private fee list. I'm gonna do right click and add, because what, what we want to do here is add a service. So click on add, uh, a code, we're gonna make a code up, like for example, uh, exam, new patient, uh, description, okay, new patient, custom screen and we're gonna go for uh, I'm not gonna select okay for this select none okay and then for the graphic you can choose any sort of symbol that you want so I'm gonna choose an eye and just so it stands out for us really clearly I'm gonna set um, a color as well so I'm gonna go back in there and the color we're gonna go for is a lime green so it's really obvious when we made it and I don't have to look for it which would be embarrassing All right so uh, I'm gonna enter a couple of details invoice summary uh, in fact there's usually some presets here so invoice summary I'm gonna select examination related services watch type I'm gonna select examinations feel free to follow along as you're doing this uh, list and chart tab, fine, no, no issues. Appointment length now, you don't have to enter this, but uh, a new patient examination in our practice is one hour, so I'm gonna enter that. 
Some of you are thinking, what the hell do you do for an hour? Okay, you need to listen, listen to the podcast, figure out what I do for an hour. Uh, right, custom screen, here's the important bit. You click on here, and here we are. All the custom screens are there, and I'm gonna click on demo custom screen. So let's say, okay. So it's now selected the custom screen that I want. Um, I'm gonna also then, ah, categories. So I want this to show up in new, just so it's easy to find. And I'm gonna get this to show up in private feeler. So wherever it is at your practice, whichever list, whichever sort of column you have to go in to find the right code, you wanna be selecting that. So I've selected a private fee list. I'm gonna do okay to this one. Come on, okay, cool, new and private fee list, cool. And I'm gonna not okay that yet, we need to go to fees. So um, whichever one is your default, so it says price to default, I'm gonna enter, you know, so whatever your figure is for a new patient appointment, and I'm just gonna check notes over here. So if you want something to come up on the invoice, so a new patient examination, this is pretty cool, so you can make it what you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and do okay. And there we are. Wow, that was easier than the previous times I've done it. So obviously learn how to do it now. So uh, exam NP, there you are. So next time um, you're going exact and you've got a new patient, I can get rid of this old one. Welcome your patient in. You're going to do open up your notes template and I'm going to double click over here. Now, if you double click on the title itself where it says new patient consultation, it'll take you to this. Something we're very familiar with and people use templates and whatnot. No, we don't want that. I'm going to double click over here and it's going to bring up the custom screen. Here we go, so this is the, the custom screen. I've shown it in a previous video, so I need to go over it. You can see the, the sort of benefits of having one. So the interesting thing is I've got some pre-written text over here. So intro or radiographs, bite wings taken to check interpoxone caries and bone levels. So this is a very standard justification for a bite wing. So how can you have content already inside your custom screen that's gonna save you time? So for example, you might wish to do your diagnoses as or, or treatment plan as um, emergency phase, stabilization. Now, instead of having to type this every single time, what can we do to make sure that every time you open up a custom screen, it's gonna be there already? Now, the way you do this is you go back to configure, and we're gonna go to custom screens, and then here we are, we're on the custom screen. I'm gonna edit this, so I've clicked on edit down there, and here we are, we, we can see the custom screen, and we're gonna go here, and I can actually enter it here. So emergency phase, oh, that's diagnosis, let's go back to treatment plan, emergency phase, stabilization, reconstructive, mind the spelling, uh, and then maintenance, if I spell that right. Uh, so there we are, and click OK. Now, when I go back to my patient, and I'm gonna double click on the custom screens, made a new one, I think the top one's a new one. Aha, there we are. So. Not only have I shown you how to download the custom screen, how to install the custom screen, how to get that custom screen to show up in your services for when you're charting and um, actually using this on your patients. I've also shown you how to have some pre-written content as a template within the custom screen to save you even more time. So I hope you found that useful. Please subscribe to the newsletter on protrusive.co.uk. Uh, I'm regularly sort of emailing um, content. And also, the Protrusive Dental Podcast episodes come straight to your inbox. Thanks for joining me. I hope you are all well and safe during lockdown. I look forward to giving you all a hug soon.